actually do does this happen in like relationships does it happen in 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 friendships does it happen in maybe like projects that you're involved in maybe yes like i don't know like in there, there, i just think there's various scenarios where you could say that you end up quite quitting giles can you just look up for me mm. what does quiet quitting actually mean okay so this is quite a buzzy term at the moment um i've heard it quite a lot particularly on the sites like linkedin where it's very business orientated mm. but i i think um, let me read it out, but I think it actually can be um, a term that could be used in other aspects of our lives, actually. So quiet quitting is def defined as a disengaged employee mm -hmm. doing the bare minimum, eventually <laughs> leading to their departure. Um, despite their dissatisfaction at work, quiet quitters continue to collect a paycheck until they finally leave or are terminated. Mm, that's happened to my friend literally a couple of days ago. She got fired from her job. Was she quite quitting? Yeah, because, well, kind of. I don't think she was ever not quite quitting. So she <laughs> she was quitting the from the beginning. She, yeah, because she was like... Was she loudly quitting then? Yeah, <laughs> no, she was trying to start up a business. Or, yeah, she was actually succeeding in setting up a business mm. and it was t taking off, but like not quite enough for her to do it full time yet. So she was still doing like a part time job on the side. But like putting in the bare minimum, like turning up late every day and stuff. And then eventually they fired her. And she's like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now yeah. her, her business is thriving and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. But it sounds like something like you could apply to many other aspects of your life. Well, I've heard that. people talking about, like say, on things like LinkedIn, because you get employers that like say it like, like the, the definition says, like are dissatisfied with their job. So they kind of down tools. Or it might be that you, you know, you know, you've got a, you've given in your month's notice. Mm. You're like, well, I'm going in a month. I don't care. Mm. So you right. don't necessarily put in the uh, required diligence and effort that you would have done if you were still. Yeah. But you are obviously still being paid. I you guess it's no different. Yeah. But I, I, the interesting thing is we sort of talked about this in the car when we were thinking about doing this subject is that actually, do, does this happen in like relationships? Does it mm. happen in friendships? In, in friendships? Does it happen in maybe like projects that you're involved in maybe yes like i don't know like in there, there, i just think there's various scenarios where you could say that you end up quite quitting i mean yeah. relationships is a big one i think have, okay know. have you ever have you can, can you think of a situation where you've quietly quit something well i would say like as i just touched upon like when you've handed your notice in mm. at a job I mean, i'm sure there's been several times um or actually I would say even more predominantly, there's been a couple of times I've been made redundant mm. and been given my notice. Um, even more so in that respect. There's one thing to be like giving your notice and I'm leaving because it's my choice, right. but to be not given the choice if you've been made redundant, for example. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of an F -U. It's even less desire to want to put in effort because yeah. you're like, well, fuck you. You've just like given me my cards kind of thing. So yeah. I think that happens. But I think I've, I've been in um I've been in a romantic relationship where I've done, that's happened. Mm. Um I've checked out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um and you're just find, trying to find the right time to sort of actually put an end to it, yeah, which yeah. I, I don't think I'm alone in that. I don't no, think that's unusual. No. If people like... think about it, I think probably there are quite a lot of people who yeah. will know you, you don't just suddenly wake up and think, "Right, well, that's it." The the relationship's over it yeah. takes time for that thing to happen and so. relationships are funny because you sometimes depending on the time of year you've got to like work around like christmases and holidays and birthdays <laughs> yeah and don't want to yeah yeah before yeah, true, christmas yeah. but then i also don't want to do it and, and they're going on yeah. holiday with their friends and i don't want to ruin the holiday but i just don't want them to like spend the whole holiday <laughs> thinking they're in a relationship and then get back to a d being dumped like quite frankly that is yeah that does happen <laughs> yeah i know it happens <laughs> looking in no directions <laughs> and there's only three of us in the room and Maisie's yeah Maisie's, Maisie's celibate, celibate so <laughs> little one. but yeah um, no it does yeah you I, know. totally I can actually think of many times when I've quietly quit but to be honest with you I would say that that used to be my MO because I had massive like avoidance issues I would hate confrontation I would hate I would hate um yeah yeah I'd, uh, for breaking up with people god that's like my idea of hell I just hate that sort of thing and so, yeah, my, my thing always used to be, I would just sort of slink away. <laughs> and it's so cowardly and I hate it. And like, I would never do that now, but, but I get it. 
it's like it's a real thing well you just sort of like well i won't text them back so immediately and then i won't <laughs> text them back the, to the next day and then yeah. i won't text them back at all yeah 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 and, I, and also I, i've i've actually been in a situation where someone's kind of done that with me in like a really polite way but i'm like oh i see what's happening here <laughs> well, see then you can put terminology on it now and you yeah. can mostly sort of say that what well, they're quite quit, quietly quitting me they're know? quitting me don't yeah. quit me yeah <laughs> Um, but I'm thinking as well, like with, with work projects and mm. stuff specifically, I'm thinking of projects when I've sort of become involved with something, not, and to be honest with work, I tend to try and lean more heavily on like intuition nowadays mm. rather than like logic because my logic can be skewed and we can have like fears that come into play or, and I think of, oftentimes, especially when you're self-employed or you're a freelancer, you can take up opportunities just because the opportunity is there and you're either afraid that nothing better is going to come along or you think oh well you know most people would bite someone's hand off for this opportunity so I'm just going to do it and I've done that a few times and then I've realized quite quickly afterwards but actually I don't even really want to do this I just kind of said I would do it because I felt like it was a good opportunity but intuitively it's not really for me and so then I've just started to like quietly drift away from it until eventually it comes you know you have a comes to a natural end or whatever or a conversation yeah yeah, yeah. It's yeah I think we've probably been through that with um when we did that uh, we were going to do a book project together mm -hmm. and I think you yep, felt like that. it wasn't quite right for you but took a while to get there yeah I had some reservation but I, te I tend to what happens usually is I tend to procrastinate on stuff without realizing why mm. like I didn't really realize like I wasn't in it and I was just kind of I was like, oh, like dragging my feet, procrastinating, not doing stuff on time. And it wasn't until I really got quiet with myself and thought about it. I was suddenly like, oh, I actually like, this isn't for me. Mm. This, I, this isn't right. And then once you like let go of that stuff, I think energetically you open up your life for more aligned mm. stuff for you. You know, the stuff that's that's meant to be kind of thing. Um, same with relationships and, and jobs and stuff. But yeah. It's a shame. I guess like this is why people get gardening leave, right? Is that right? And um, I think gardening leaves the employer, like if you're going through a, like a tribunal or like a payoff or something, that's normally gardening. Oh, I thought it was for some reason. I thought gardening leave was if they basically pay you, but they don't want you to come in because yeah, it is. But it's normally because there's like sell uh, the secrets or, something, or give the secrets to a competitor. Well, a little, yeah, it is a little bit like they don't want you to like go and work for a competitor, but it is mm. generally because you're going through some sort of like pay payment settlement or something I like see. that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So ignore ignore that then. Ignore that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Someone that's completely self-employed. Oh, yeah, so in, in, technically, we've we've obviously like realised that you've quite quit me um, <laughs> a few times. <laughs> no, but, but again, it's like fine. maybe that is an avoidant thing, or it's like yeah. Well, that maybe that's at the heart of it. If you're quite, if you are someone who is who feels like they can quite quick quit, or they you're in a position where you feel like you just don't feel like you want to invest any more time or energy into it mm. um maybe that is something deep down within you as a person that you know like you say maybe not it's because you don't want the confrontation you don't want to have that conversation with someone it's mm. tricky again i suppose in a work a work sense in that you um you could it's not necessarily the same kind of set of scenarios in that you, you know if you're leaving a job in a month you can't sort of go to your boss mm. and say look you're not going to get 100 percent out of me at the moment yeah 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 um because i'm leaving so i suppose it's slightly different yeah. but certainly in relationships i think or or like you know like projects whatever you could probably it probably help to have a conversation yeah for um, sure yeah I, mean, I don't i remember like way back when when i was younger being in a relationship with someone and they actually were just treating me pretty badly they were like lying and you know texting other girls behind my back or whatever it was and I checked out of that and quietly quit that relationship but but it did feel like a bit like a bit of a fuck you to that person so mm. I was like Pff, I don't need to I don't even need to grace this person with a respectful breakup yeah. because they're treating me like shit anyway um, and I guess that's maybe the the vibe when you get fired or something and you're like well then you don't expect me to turn up and work really hard you know i'm doing the bare minimum um, yeah that yeah. was definitely like i say like 
haven't been made redundant like you do have that feeling of um there's a sort of slight bitterness i guess mm. um and it's often not the you know if, often if you make redundant it's because a business has gone out you know a, a, a job's gone out of business or whatever it might be you know it's not often someone's fault but you do feel that that kind of sense of rejection yeah, or um yeah. and i guess that's yeah that's what happens sometimes so maybe mm. so maybe some of this quiet quitting if you, it's forced upon you mm. there's a sense of rejection there yeah i wonder also like how much it plays into the fact that people just don't they're not just they're just not interested in the job in the first place yeah because i was you know i was talking about my friend at the beginning there and how she got fired and she was just kind of like well whatever but she worked with kids and she really genuinely cared about those kids and was still putting 100 percent in with the kids so that aspect she wasn't quietly quitting mm. um you know she was you know disorganized and would turn up late and take days off and stuff but when she was with those children she was 100 percent in yeah. so it makes me think you know how much were you really that bothered about the job anyway mm. it might be something to think about if you find yourself quietly quitting a job one or like people do it before they go on holiday it's like oh we'll pick this up after christmas or we'll pick this up when i get back from malaga or whatever and it's like you just start to but i can't imagine doing that with my own job like I literally work to the bitter end putting in 100% because I love it and care about it and stuff. Yeah, I wonder if you can quietly quit on yourself sometimes with things and not acknowledge it. Hmm. What would that look like, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Well, when you check out of something, but you... Ha like, I mean, you were saying earlier, like, you check out of a, of a project or something, but you haven't realised it. Like, you haven't realised that you're doing that. Mm. But actually, like, you're point? not being honest with yourself, maybe. I do that with my healthy eating regime. So yeah. I eat really well for a whole period. And, and you quietly quit out of it by having, like... I'm just like, know. oh, Domino's here and there. Yeah, won't, yeah. Won't it'll, hurt. Be right. it'll be fine. And then before you know it, it's like, oh, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, I had friends that used to do that. Like, they would get all fit and healthy for a holiday or something. And then if the holiday, if you know, during the holiday, the weather was forecast for rain, they'd be like, "Oh well, what's the point? I'm not going to be in a bikini anyway." <laughs> or like you say, you like get really fit for holiday, and then you go and you're just like drinking and eating and like mm. sitting by the pool and not really doing anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's a funny, it's a funny topic, but yeah, what a weird buzzword. Yeah, quietly quitting. I quite like it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I do like it. <laughs> I don't like what it stands for, actually. No, I don't like what it stands for. I don't. I think, yeah, and I, I think we're all guilty of it. Um, but yeah, it probably is something that we need to address a little bit more, and maybe, and maybe it's something that workplaces are trying to address a bit more. Mm. Um, particularly, like when you're employed, if you're employed by someone, they're still paying you. You know, maybe mm. you should put in that effort, even if you don't feel like it. Why? Why are people on LinkedIn talking about it? Because it's mainly like business and work and stuff there. That's the sort of chat. But they're saying doing. like how to prevent it or, or... It's just become a thing that people are noticing more. I guess mm. in various different industries, like when people are mm. leaving jobs or moving or being like, you know, it, that it does seem to be like a quite a normal thing for people just down tools. Mm. Do you think it's more noticeable now though because of the economy and like what's going on in, in the world at the moment? Like, possibly or that i don't know I, you know we like to label things don't we so we do, we do. you know i think most people i've that the idea of downing tools i think that's you know you hear it in sports um sports terms like in in football for example in the premier league if a team's mid table and it's the last few day, games of the season they'll say the team's on the beach oh because they're you on know holiday. they they they're, they're not like putting as much effort into winning games mentally, because they're they're, not they're mentally not and they're not physically either probably uh, and so because they've they're not going to be any better off or worse off if they really go for it so let's say we're on the beach and i think yeah. that happens in jobs sometimes as well like you know you yeah. you know you're you're towards the end maybe specifically if you're kind of towards retirement for example oh, yeah, yeah you might be like oh well i've only got a month to go i will oh, technically yeah, be on the sure. beach when i've i finished kind of thing so yeah. it's that idea of like i'm being on the beach well yeah maybe we, we've recently t in an episode talked about like having a work-life balance as mm. well and how some people compromise on their mental health to achieve goals and stuff and yeah maybe that is a big it's a sort of a microcosm of a wider issue there that 
people humans are like working 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 until they lose steam and, and yeah. just give up and it's like the minute you have a holiday booked or you get made redundant or whatever it's just like finally i can just yeah. give up it's like that's actually sort of maybe a symptom of a bigger issue possibly perhaps. yeah yeah we work too hard we do we work too hard and then we're very quick to give up <laughs> yeah